Well, think about this. If the Washington State Cougars were to be named the number one overall seed in the NCAA tournament for basketball, how big of a deal would it be? It'd be maybe the biggest sports story in the area over the last 10 years. But today, Gonzaga Bulldogs had that happen for the second straight year, and eh, we thought it was going to happen. We've officially been spoiled by Gonzaga. The Zags, as we knew, headed to Portland, where they're going to play Thursday against Georgia State. They won the Sun Belt Conference tournament title and have won 10 straight games after starting the season 8 and 10. Now, if the Zags do get through that game, which they should, they'll get the winner of a dangerous Memphis team who has all the talent to compete with anyone, and Boise State featuring former Gonzaga coach Leon Rice, Spokane's own Tyson Degenhardt. Should be a fun week in Portland. Now, the Zags have been here many, many times before, but it's the first NCAA tournament for our Alex Crescenti. Now, while the Zags are excited to get going, I'm sure they're not quite itching as much as Alex to go back to kind of where he's from. Alex, he joins us now live from the kennel. How are we doing today? Uh, doing great, Keith. And like you said, yeah, I'm originally from Vancouver, which is, if you know, just right across the river from Portland. If you can beat the traffic, it's maybe a 15, 20 minute drive. So right there, grew up going to the Moda Center, going to Blazers games, NCAA tournament games. Actually, I think one of my first college basketball games was to see Gonzaga play back in 2009. I believe they made the Sweet 16, if I'm not mistaken. So they got a lot of rich history playing here in the Pacific Northwest and some of these uh, regional sites. But uh, like you said, the They've really been just a dominant team all year long, earning this number one overall seed. They lead the country in scoring, field goal percentage, point differential. And so they've really earned that place to play here in Portland, just down the road. Friends and family going to be able to see them play. And for the players, they're just excited to get on the court here. Uh, and I think just kind of part of the program now, it's kind of the expectation that we aim for. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little rewarding for sure after of how much of a grind the season is. It's exciting. Just exciting. This is a huge time of the year. Super exciting. Like, I really, like, haven't been to the real tournament since freshman year with fans and everything. They're full experience. So I was telling guys about that the other day. So I'm super excited just to get over there and start the games. And like we mentioned, you know, me being from that Portland area, the Gonzaga uh, they has actually got a few players from the Portland area themselves. They have uh, in that Portland, Portland metro area. I was actually talking to Ben Gregg a few minutes ago, and he was saying he's already getting, you know, some text messages, getting people hitting them up for tickets there. So, and I can imagine that's going to be happening quite a bit with some of the players here on this team. And we will see them in action on Thursday at some point there. And then probably, like we said, if they do win that one against Georgia State, then on Saturday. So it should be a fun week ahead for this team. But for now, reporting live here in Spokane, Alex Crescenti, 4 News Now. Alex, that was uh, March of 2010, by the way. You were at that game. I was at that game. Well, your seats are going to get a little bit better this time around. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, thanks for your work today. We'll see you again coming up tonight at 6. Don't forget to follow Alex on social media and on, online. He'll be giving you a diary of what it's like to cover the NCAA tournament for the first time. Now, the Gonzaga.